hey everyone so in this video we will see the significance of sei function in the arduino so if you are working on some project then you will be using the arduino so basically it will be giving a microcontroller so that uh, uh, we will be using this one and also it is a open source so we will be mostly using arduino there but uh, we will be having some doubt so that is basically the uh, SEI function why we are using and uh, what is the significance of that one so uh, if you uh, if you can see a uh, example for that one so it will be well and good so uh, today we will try to discuss uh, the, uh, the same thing so that is about SEI so just open so uh, Arduino programming so this comes under the Arduino programming concept here so the contents which we are going to discuss in this topics are uh, first we'll see what is mean by SEI function so that is this one so what is the significance of this one and why we are using this one in Arduino programming so we'll next see significance for the same and then uh, when to use this function so where we can use this function or implement this one and then we'll go for the example in particular uh, so how we'll see how uh, it has been implemented so these are all the contents which are going to discuss and um, i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates because we will be continuously uploading the arduino related programs and videos which are very useful for you and also thanks for watching all right so let us quickly uh, see first what is mean by sei function so the meaning of sei is so it will be telling uh, the code that Arduino that uh, sooner uh, interrupt will going to happen. So whenever you are working on a project which is uh, time sensitive that is if you are taking some data from the sensors that is uh, if you are let us say measuring the water. So if you want to measure the amount of water which is flowing through the pipe then we will be placing an YFS201 sensor there so through that sensor uh, we will be getting some pulses and depending on the uh, quantity of pulse which we will be getting we will be calculating the amount of water which has flown through that pipe so in that case uh, we can't lie uh, we can't write the program with the help of loops there so we have to use the interrupts and we have to use the sensors there so uh, we have if you are willing to use the uh, interrupts there then you have to use this sei function in order to uh, tell the arduino that uh, interrupt is going to happen so to it is basically to tell the arduino uh, interrupt is going to happen so that's the meaning of sei and the opposite of this one is the cli so we will be writing like this uh, cli and uh, two coolants uh, so like two open bracket one open and close bracket so this will tell the arduino that no interrupt is going to happen so that the arduino can uh, do the other work so the, it will be having a microcontroller uh, processor so it can do other work and it will not wait for the interrupt but if you are uh, working on some time sensitive projects like these then you have to mention the interrupt so whenever uh, in uh, setup we have to write the SEI so that the Arduino will come to know that uh, interrupt is going to happen in this uh, in this code or in this program or in this experiment so I have to so the processor is uh, 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 alert to take the interrupt so that's the meaning of SEI basically so it is going to tell us the interrupt is gonna happen so the significance as I said if you are working on a time sensitive uh, projects then it is very necessary for the arduino to take the uh, inputs which are coming from the sensors at a time so it is like you if you are uh, if you want to uh, uh, track the lightning then it will be happening in a fraction of second so if you don't use interrupts there then uh, it will be very difficult for us to catch those uh, lightning effects so there we have to use the interrupts and to enable interrupts we have to use the SEI function so that's about the significance for that one and when to use so again the same answer can be applied for this one so if you are working on case or a time sensitive project then 
if you want to get the accurate results or if you don't want any uh, like uh, errors to happen in our code then you have to use the SEI there so it is similar to the block codes which we are using in the uh, in uh, Arduino programming so there we will be uh, defining like block codes means they will be protected and they will be given more preferences there and uh, coming to the example for this one so I have just written a code a bunch of code for this one so that is basically to measure the amount of water so let me just show you so I will open Arduino now so uh, this is the interface for Arduino so where we will be writing the code so as you can see I have written here so this is the code for measuring amount of water flowing through the YFS201 sensor so the meaning of YFS this is the name of the sensor so that is YFS201 yes zero one so this is the name of the water flow sensor here okay so this is if you can look you uh, if you are interested you can look otherwise uh, there is just straight i will move so let me just explain quickly so i have taken the sensor frequency here so that is a volatile int and then uh, a variable called water hour so that is basically to calculate the amount of water which is flown through a pipe in one hour then a flow meter equal to 2 means the second pin of the uh, Arduino will be connected to the sensor and then uh, there are two other variables that is present time and closed loop time to calculate the amount of uh, time for which the sensor was active that is it was uh, flowing through or water is flowing through that one so the present time and closed time when we take the difference we will be getting the the amount of time for which the water was flowing through that sensor so then i will define a function that is to increment the frequency so whenever there is a flow of water i have to increase the frequency that is sensor frequency so i have written this one so this is the user defined function that is flow and then it is taking an argument called sensor frequency and it is incrementing it every time so then wide setup so we know that whatever we, uh, is written in this that is in wide setup it will be run or it will be executed only once that is when we power up the uh, the Arduino or when we reset the Arduino so the something which is written in this that is in wide loop will be executed again and again so this is the, that is the standard of this Arduino programming so the things which are written here are the setup things so we will be executing only once so what I have written here is pin mode flow meter comma input so the meaning of this one is uh, it is the Arduino should be acting in a pin mode and flow meter is the sensor here so it is acting as an input so the Arduino will come to know that the flow meter is a sensor and it is gonna give me the input so like this we will be defining then this is the port address 9600 and then uh, this is for attaching the interrupt here so this will basically do the work of uh, interrupt is going uh, interrupt so attach interrupt 0 comma flow comma rising so 0 is for the uh, interrupt name that is 0th interrupt so in Arduino Uno we will be having two interrupts so 0 and 1 so you are using 0 here or else we can use 1 as well and then this is the flow means uh, whenever so this is the user defined name that is flow and uh, whenever the interrupt occurs here flow then this will be executed that is sensor frequency will be uh, increased so that's why whenever an interrupt comes then this sen sensor frequency is gonna increase and then the meaning of rising here is whenever there is a rising edge of the pulse at that moment the interrupt is going to happen so means uh, rising means whenever there is a flow of water due to the magnetic hull effect the pulses will be created and whenever there is a positive pulse the interrupt is going to happen and uh, the sensor frequency is going to increase so that's a different story so let us come to our actual topic that is SEI uh, open close bracket and then a semicolon so I have written the main function here so this will basically tell that the interrupt is going to happen at this moment so that is the interrupt is going to happen in the uh, program so that's why we are writing it in the setup so that the Arduino will be allowed to take the interrupt uh, input as it is so it will be allocating some special uh, space for the interrupt to happen so that's why we will be writing SEI in the wide setup itself so that the Arduino uh, should be ready to take the 
sensor input so then i will just write the sei uh, open close bracket and this is basically let me just write to enable the interrupts okay so to enable the interrupts we will be writing this sei uh, function so then present time is equal to milli so this is the function which is uh, which tells us that what is the amount of uh, time which is passed that is in milliseconds for executing this code so since the execution of this code and then closed loop is equal to present time so then i will be just uh, writing in the uh, loop so present time is equal to millisecond then if present time is greater than closed loop time plus thousand so is basically the uh, the time uh, when you convert so this is in uh, milliseconds so when you convert it to seconds it will be one second so after one second it will be checking for the input so a uh, one second delay is given here then closed loop time will be equal to present loop time then water per hour is so this is a formula which is used for calculating the amount of water so sensor frequency into 60 divided by 7.5 then sensor frequency is again reset and then the water hour that is decimal part of that one will be uh, amount of water uh, what it is calculated will be printed with the help of this that's why I am written DEC that is decimal and then uh, this is the unit which I have written liter per hour then we will be ending this one so the main motive of this tutorial is to tell the significance of SEI function that is it is used to enable the interrupts or to say the Arduino interrupt is gonna happen so I hope you like this video please guys if you are like the content then please share with your friends and like the video thank you thanks for watching